Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Dora. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Mohana. Right now, millions of women are spending thousands of dollars on a problem that their doctors cannot fix, perimenopause. Perimenopause is a hormonal transition that happens before menopause that lasts 15 years and that impacts every single woman. 90% of women experience disruptive symptoms. 75% are looking for solutions actively with no success. And as a result, one in three even considers leaving their job. One of them was Esther. Esther spent $3,000 before she found Mohana. This is what her journey looked like. Fragmented, inefficient, and expensive. And this is the reality for one billion of women right now who are in perimenopause. We have spoken with hundreds of doctors and women to learn about what's going on. And we've learned three key problems. First, your average physician actually doesn't get a whole lot of training in perimenopause. And as a consequence, they cannot help. Second, specialist clinics, are they overcome the knowledge gap. However, they rely on human resources and are therefore really, really difficult to scale up. And third, we learned that the biggest symptom relief actually comes from critical lifestyle changes, an area where most humans are notoriously bad. Mohana combines the three key ingredients needed for real symptom relief, precision, personalized care, and behavioral psychology. So first, our users complete a blood test to understand what is going on in their body. Next up, they receive a care plan that consists of the most impactful recommendations for their symptoms and their unique biomarkers. And third, they use the Mohana app to actually help them succeed implementing their care plan using the same behavioral psychology that made Noom a $4 billion company. But how do we bring this to 50% of the population? Well, this is where my background as an AI scientist comes in. We are building an AI engine that's able to synthesize the patient's unique biomarkers with the latest medical research to create care plans at scale. This is the first time we have a technology that's actually able to create personalized care in an instant. And this goes well beyond perimenopause. We have built the exact team needed to make this a reality. I have spent the last decade working in generative AI and building products for millions of users at companies like Shopify. My co-founder is a serial entrepreneur who has built $160 million in revenue for e-commerce giants like Emma. We also have a founding engineer, a professor of behavioral psychology, and two leading experts in hormonal health and nutrition. We are going to market as a B2C subscription and next up, we are partnering with insurance, employers, and clinics. Today, Mohana has been entirely built from our founding team's own investment. And without officially having launched, we have proven that our approach works by building with users from day one. Users are finding us organically at the bottom of desperate Google searches and they are loving the product so much that they are actually referring their friends to come to us as well. Next up, we are raising $2 million, so if you're interested in this space, come find me after and I'm happy to chat. I want to leave you with one message. Perimenopause is not a niche condition, so it's, it's time for us to stop treating it like one. Thank you. Thank you. Go to that, that side. Thanks a lot for the great pitch, Dora. Next up, some questions from the jury. Wow. Thank you, Dora, and thank you, uh, Mohana, for filling the literacy gap around fem female health. Um, huge congrats on what you've accomplished so far. Thank I have a question with regards to your two million round. Why are you raising so little? Yeah. We've been debating between what should be the size of the round, uh, but I think we're in a really, really good position right now um, to 
launch officially early next year and to really drive the organic user growth to the next stage. And then we want to raise a Series A uh, directly, kind of skipping the seed round, because this will be our first official round. Super, super cool product and nearly not enough happening in this space. I guess two questions. Your cost of use is pretty high still for the, for the end user. So how are you going to drive that down? And then the second question is retention. So are you seeing like beta users stay for many years? Or like how do you see that developing? Yeah, so we have uh, the subscription basically consists of the app subscription and the test kits. And we are actually offered this separately. So some women actually only want to get done the testing because they have a lot of difficulty doing it through their general practitioners. But other women can get the test done through their doctors and then they come to Mohana for the actual app subscription to figure out like, OK, I know I'm in perimenopause. I know I need to work on this, this, and this. But what do I do? And that's really where Mohana comes in. And the subscription is, is significantly less expensive. So that's where we really care about accessibility. And of course, blood testing is quite expensive, even for us. So that's why we want to kind of separate the two options. Dora, many thanks for the great pitch. Um, could you elaborate a bit how you acquire your customers? Like, where do you find them and how do you acquire them? And also then post blood test, how do you make sure that there is a good retention and people still use you and it's not dropping afterwards when it comes to the care plan? Yes. Uh, OK, so I'll start with the second part. The behavioral psychology is a huge aspect of what we're building. because, And I think this is where a lot of companies fail. Because you can give someone 100 things that they can work on. And for most people, it's very hard to you know, put that to, to work. So that's why we have a professor of behavioral psychology, because we are really looking to build something that spoon feeds the, the information to people so that you can actually do small little progress as you implement your care plan. Um, and your other question was about going, going, going to market, I guess. Um, so what's really amazing in women's health is that for a lot of these issues in hormonal health, women gather in forums. And Reddit is a huge community for women in per perimenopause and menopause. There are a ton of Facebook groups, and there are a ton of Instagram channels. And this is where women actually go for information instead of going to their doctors, where they don't succeed. Um, so we are looking to tap into the network effect of being present in these forums. Um, and that's really where we are seeing our early uh, user growth as well. And of course, we have paid channels as well, like through Meta, Instagram, um, and Google Search is a big one. All right. Thanks a lot, Dora. Okay. Thanks a lot, Thank Jerry. You. Let's give a big round. Mm -hmm. Thank you.